Wrestling Reality, Trib Live Radio, coming off of a Monday Night Raw in Liverpool. Always exciting fans there. Look, the fans are always exciting, but I, I can't help it. Always just is a little bit of a... It's not lackluster, but it's just, it, it, it's just, it, I hate the tape show. I know, I know these, these poor fans over in England, you don't get the WWE Network right now, and you guys don't have to stay up until, you know, three in the morning to watch it when they're over here in the U.S., but I'm sorry, I just, when it's taped, it's that same problem I have with SmackDown, just when it's taped, you just know that if something really big or really crazy is going to happen, you would have already found out about it, even if you don't want to find out about it, even if you don't read spoilers, somebody, especially me, somebody would have texted me, or somebody would have, there's no way to avoid it, but when it's live, happening there, you know, anything is possible. Okay, Raw, we're getting closer to Survivor Series. I'm glad we're putting the uh, team together. Finally, we're starting to figure out who's going to be on whose side. But I'm just going to focus on what I have to focus on. You know it's coming. You, if you know me, you know it's coming. Luke Harper, finally, after weeks of teasing that him and Eric Rowan are off on their own and not with Bray Wyatt, we saw a very <laughs> weird instance there with Eric Rowan. Not sure where they're going with him, but Luke Harper on Team Authority as he should be. I've told you, the big man, very versatile. I uh, found that out firsthand on the independent scene. He's a great guy. He deserves this spot. And I'll tell you what, throwing a beaten Dolph Ziggler at the feet of the authority, saying he's going to be on team authority, he can be a team player. I love the thought of a Dolph Ziggler uh, Luke Harper feud. I hope that that does uh, continue on after Survivor Series because, I mean, you look at the versatility of what Harper can do, and then you look at how Dolph Ziggler can sell anything, and Dolph Ziggler, it, it, there's, there's nobody he can't work with. That is a great matchup, and it's a great first matchup uh, for the start of a singles run for Luke Harper because my biggest concern when they broke him off in the Wyatt family, when they broke him all off, was if they don't give him something concrete, if they don't give him somebody, you know, if they don't they don't commit to something, the next thing you know, uh, he might be on SmackDown for two weeks, and he's on a main event, and then he's then he, then he's off for a couple of weeks, and and, and it's it, it just it's, that's bad news. Uh, but the fact they're going to put him on the main event of Survivor Series with all the other big players with Team Authority, uh, that is a great sign. Don't know what to expect after that. Don't know if he's going to maybe he becomes part of the Authority. Who knows? Uh, long term, I mean, but it's a great news, great sign for what they're doing uh, with. With Luke Harper. Survivor Series starting to get more interesting. And of course, the power struggle. I didn't really get to talk about it too, too much last week, but of course, the power is on the line. If the authority loses, then they're out, they're out of power. And it looks like this might be the storyline that we heard rumors of last fall, where uh, it might lead to some kind of a struggle between Vince and his kids all the way up to WrestleMania. A lot of potential there. Also, a lot of potential for uh, for disaster there. We'll talk about it all. Plus, Zig from the Delaney is going to be co-hosting with me for the hour. He's back. He's also got some new tracks from the new album. We'll take a little listen to, to that. All that and more, 412-320-7925. Get on the phone now.